Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, agents. I'm Manny Carl, and welcome to The Vision Let's Talk. Today, we will continue our never-ending struggle to provide you with one gear set redesign per day, and possibly two today, if you're lucky. And if we were watching yesterday, I talked about Hunter's Faith, but there is a good friend of the channel who enjoys the Lone Star gear set, so I told him I'd go ahead and cover that and see about doing that gear set today, and I think we might just have time to cover Hunter's Faith today as well. Since we are discussing the Lone Star gear set, you must be wondering what would happen to the 100% ammo increase that the two piece is currently residing on. Personally, and to be truthful, it needs to go away. This should never be on a gear set. The increase to ammo shouldn't have been an option. It needs to go away. Now, before you start writing down the comments, Manny Carl is a moron. It needs to go away in favor of a new gear slot that would be an ammo bag to increase your ammo according to the type of bag that you have. This actually doesn't even need to be an additional slot. It could actually be attached to the holster slot like the inventory is attached to a backpack. You would have a base ammo capacity, but the better the holster, the better the ammo capacity that you have, and it would go far beyond the 100% ammo capacity, or at least right there that the Lone Star set gives you. So which do you prefer, an actual gear slot with ammo bags that drop, or a satchel added in, or put it on a holster like we do with the inventory slots for the backpack? Let me know down in the comments, that would be awesome. Now out of all of the gear sets, I have done so far and redesigned the only real problem with Lone Star is that it drops most notably from every HVT every single week and we can't get rid of it it is literally the herpes of the gear sets you think you got rid of it and it just keeps coming back you can't find you can you can find this stuff anywhere even Jessica Kendall is using them to give rectal exams that's how common those gloves are Jessica Kendall straps one on reaches up gives you a rectal exam and throws it in the trash and poof she has a whole box of them sitting up there like latex gloves it's really interesting to see I mean just go in there and check it out that would be my first redesign to this set and that is an equal chance to drop with all of these other sets during HVTs. In all reality, I haven't even touched on HVTs or redesigned them, but the HVTs need to have a loot table that consists of more than Lone Star at 99% and all other gear sets somewhere around 0.0001%. I say that because I have gotten gear outside the Lone Star, but not as a reward. A reward, 100%. Everything else is like 99% Lone Star and the rest. Now, keeping with making these sets equal and having the ability to be worth more to our build of three, four, and six uh, gear set pieces, this gear set was made for dealing out damage as a solo player. Even the trailer for 1.2 said Lone Star, survival in it. So it should be geared towards survival and how to survive solo. So the first perk in the three piece range would need to be something that helps the player survive. And that would be a plus 100 to health regen while in cover. This would allow you to stay in cover and regenerate your health without the reliance on booster shot. And even booster shot, what I would say is to go it a step further where the 100% health regen actually keeps the booster shot overheal so that it doesn't go down. It just stays there. And then once you get out of cover, then it can start going down. This would save you a ton of hassle. This would make it so a lot of the gear fights or not gear fights, the, the cover fights and stuff like that actually stay in the cover. People would use this in cover and that's what it'd be used for is being in cover and doing cover to cover shooting. Now the four piece gear set in keeping with the solo aspect, we would need to think of this as the Rambo style gear set. You know, that guy who in the movies, he ran around and shot people all by himself and took out the whole Viet Cong with the, with just a, him and himself and his Bowie knife. But you know, th that's really, you know, that's, or it could be the guy in the underground that just leaves the group and runs up ahead. That's two. This is 1,000 to LMGs is good, but I can, I can get that on a roll. I can do that anywhere in the game. It doesn't need to be a perk. It needs to be a great benefit if it's going to be on a gear set. Plus 3,000 LMGs. Forget the shotguns. We, this isn't a shotgun build. We need plus 3,000 LMGs. We can save shotguns to anything else. We want the one gear set that is going to be for the one guy that runs ahead of everyone in the underground to protect himself, and giving you 3,000 damage to LMGs is going to be great, especially with that bonus to uh, shooting people out of cover. Finally, 
for the six pieces of the gear set, the reloading was nice. It was it was good. Once you did it, you found it really hard to go back. But it is really a top, you know, is it really a top bonus perk? And I don't think so. I, it's really nice to have it reloaded, but eh, I could do without it. I can reload my own gun. Now, how about we add in a bonus that will really set this apart? When using an agent's special ability, the ability is extended by two times the duration time. I was at odds with this one since it could go either way. You could have a 50% reduction to the recharge timer of the skill or an increase to the duration that once you pop your ult, then it lasts twice as long. Either way, this would create a must-have build for those looking to survive. Imagine running around the dark zone and you pop this or you're in the underground and you pop this and it's going to take three or four shotgun blasts to get you down and not to mention it applies to your your entire group so that is something that you know if you are running with a group unlike the nomad set I think that this one needs to apply to a group and be that way now it would appear that we may have time for the hunters faith as well so let's go ahead and move right in since we're only six minutes into this video let's go ahead and move into the hunters faith personally I did not feel that this set provided enough to encourage the use of marksman rifles and it was very disappointing personally I like the the uh 20% marksman rifle critical hit damage, but if you have low critical hit chance, then it's not really going to do you any good. It's This set's not for you. I would actually prefer a 20% increase to marksman rifle headshot damage. This encourages the use of rifles at the optimal range and using a scope to zoom in and shoot people in the face. The fourth set bonus, I would love to see us remove the damage to elites because our sixth set bonus, we're going to have something for that. So let's remove the damage to elites. The four set bonus for this should be 20% damage increase increase when further than 50 meters from the target the further away the higher the damage increase to a maximum of 100 meters for 30 percent damage increase while scoped you must be scoped to be able to use this that would encourage you to be at a distance and not up close this would ultimately provide a huge increase to those who truly think of themselves as marksmen in the game and provide a kind of a benefit and encourage you to do range damage we need to encourage agents to be marksmen and to do damage from a distance if that is what it is for. Finally, the sixth gear set piece for Hunter's Faith I call armor piercing rounds and that is when shooting elite enemies with bullets they will penetrate armor dealing 75% of their damage to the armor and 25% of the damage of the bullet directly to the health of the elite. Now, after the armor is gone, you will do the regular damage, or we could actually increase the damage, but based on this bonus perk, maybe 100% damage increase to elites once you do that. And this would be a huge PvE gear set. People would just be falling over themselves trying to get this because then you're one you're sniping out of damage range and two the enemies are going down a lot faster something along those lines would be would really nail this set as a true hunter's faith piece i mean almost all of the player complaints in this game you know is the enemies have too much armor well this kind of resolves that and damaging both armor and the health bar ultimately it should be possible for a marksman using hunter's faith to down an npc without taking out all of their armor that would be ideal for what this is all right so i'm going to end it there since we've gone through two gear sets and i've just kind of blown through this that so that has been my time i feel like these are really getting through the gear sets and the set designs i will be back tomorrow when i ruin everyone's favorite gear set reclaimer in an effort to bring it down to more normal levels of the game but for now if you like this video and found it informative drop a like on it consider subscribing for the latest in the division content and also just a reminder football season is right around the corner and i will be ramping up my fantasy football talk this week and playing some madden alongside it so if you enjoy that stuff go ahead and tune back in here a little bit later this week probably thursday or friday i would say i am mounty car and I am personally do not think that Massive is going to wipe anything in 1.4. That is just a rumor and YouTubers have a little bit more responsibility than go ahead and saying that stuff because people take it as fact. Now, that if you know what I'm talking about, then great. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. That wasn't a comment for you. You need to be responsible for your words and what you say when you're doing it because people will take it as fact and start preaching it and saying that they're thinking that they're going to wipe everything in 1.4. Or 1.4. Yeah, 1.4. 
That's not true. I don't think that they would ever do that. They would completely ruin the game, and they would completely destroy the rest of their player base if they wiped everybody's characters and stuff from 1.4. So that's been my time. I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Agent out.